What's going on everyone? Chuck here and I hope that you are having an awesome day today. Spring is almost here. Amen. And this is the time of year that you want to think about and do a soil test before you get into your actual lawn care plan, put down your fertilizers and your pre-emergence and blah, 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 blah. You need to do a soil test first. Now, I'm speaking out of turn because I've never actually done a soil test before. This is now my second spring since I did my lawn renovation and last spring, for whatever reason, I don't remember why, I never did a soil test. But I'm changing that this year because I bought a soil test. But I recently watched a review from The Lawn Whisperer and he touted this, the My Soil Testing Kit. Now in his video, he actually used the Pro Pack of this. And the Pro Pack comes with two soil testing kits and a lawn or a soil probe. Um, apparently this, the Pro Pack isn't available yet or something, so I couldn't find it on Amazon. So I may have just missed it, but I needed two soil testing kits for what I want to do, so I just bought two individual testing kits. So let's go ahead and open up this box and see what's inside. So you got my, the packing receipt, and I don't know how well you can see that. Focus in on it a little bit. For two of these kits, it was $49.98. No shipping cost, no tax. All right, then you have one kit. And two kits. So I have my two soil tests here. Let's open up one of these and see what's inside. So you have product registration. You need to enter this number on the website and that's how you will get your results. Pre-packaged shipping. And then you have where you put your soil sample. It says do not remove contents, just add soil. There is some liquid in there. Interesting. Then you have tablespoon, scooper, and I guess you scoop, put the soil sample in there, and that is it. And so I'm doing two soil tests. One soil test will be from the main front lawn, which has the two trees on it, and the other soil testing kit will be for the strip. I'm not gonna do one in the backyard just yet because there's stuff to do back there before I'd even think about testing soil or anything like that. It would be good to know what's going on back there, but I'm not too concerned with the backyard as I am for the front yard. So one kit is for the main yard, the second kit is for the strip. And so it says, collecting a good soil sample. Collect soil from five to seven separate locations, spots within your desired testing area. The soil should be collected to a depth of six inches. So that is where if you buy the pro pack of the My Soil Test testing kit, it comes with a soil probe. Now you can also buy, there's plenty of soil probes that you can buy online. You may be able to get some at some of the big box stores. Uh, when I went this morning, I couldn't find one at the big box store, so I don't have a soil probe uh, to do one with. And I don't really feel like spending, um, now there's cheap ones and stuff, but I just I don't feel like it. So what I'm going to do instead is I found this uh, three quarter inch steel pipe. Obviously you'd prefer it to be smooth all the way around because that's kind of what soil probes are. And a soil probe also has a piece of it, you know, um, cut out here so that way you can collect your soil samples. But this is what I found and this is what I'm going to use. And then to get the soil samples out, I have this wooden dowel that it fits within. And that hopefully will let me allow me to push it out, uh, push out the soil sample. And this will hopefully, I'll be able to get this at least six inches into the ground to collect a good plug um, for the testing kit. I'm gonna give it a try. You're gonna see how it goes, cause I'm gonna do it for the first time on camera. So this is going to be my soil probe for right now. I have my DIY soil probe, although that's kind of cheating because it's not even DIY, it's a piece of steel. I have my plastic bag to collect my soil samples with, and so I have seven spots marked out, not really marked out, but I have seven areas that I'm going to be grabbing soil samples from. 
two just behind me in front of this tree that I can't tell if you can see. In between the two trees, just past the last tree, and then one up by the fence will be my seven areas I'm gonna grab soil from here on the main lawn. So let's actually see if I can get this six inches in the ground and actually pull out a plug and get it out with this dowel, because I have no idea. Okay, so now that we have our two bags of soil samples, I've labeled, well, I labeled the one, not the other. Um, now it says to sort of mix it, combine it into one. Um, I'm sure when they did that, they didn't expect it to be a gloopy mess. Um, you know, it's East Tennessee, lots of rain. So it kind of, the soil is wet and it's clay, so it kind of, just makes a mess, but. ready to ship. So when you finish um, putting your sample in the mail and shipping it off, you can actually take the paperwork that came with it with the registration number to mysoiltesting.com. You will click register kit, sign in. If you already have an account, you're, you're set up to go. If you don't, you can just set up your own account. Then once you do that, you will actually, you can go into register new kit. You'll enter in that kit number that starts with my uh, MS and then it's a series of numbers, like four numbers right now. Enter it in there, select the different type of turf that you, or the soil that you're um, registering. Uh, then label it, and like in my case where I submitted uh, two different samples, that way I can keep track of what my samples are. So I did have to enter my registration twice for once for each kit and then about the size of your lawn, and then you'd go to register kit. But I already did that. You can see my two registrations uh, listed here. Um, now, I, for whatever reason, when I try to enter in my, what I labeled it here, side yard or side lawn, which is the strip, uh, for some reason it wouldn't register on the 29th, which is when I recorded that video. Um, so I had to wait a couple days and I did it again and it went through. And then here's where you'll see where, um, once you register, it will say registered, and the hyperlink will not work. Um, but now they actually sent out, um, I think it was you know, less than a week, I got my results in. So now these have changed from registered to completed, and you can actually click on the hyperlinks. I'm not gonna click on these because that is a separate video. Um, but this is what the dashboard looks like, and then once you click on that, you actually will see you know, your results, and then it will give you the recommendations on different types of fertilizer based on your results. So just wanted to quickly go over the um, how to register your kit on the website. So that is it for the My Soil Soil Test Kit. Um, it was really easy to use. I, you know, I'm excited to see what the results and, and how they come in to see what I need to use. Um, they are, they do have, or are coming out with, I don't know yet, because like I said, I couldn't find a pro kit, which comes with two testing kits and a soil probe. Um, but, so if you don't have a soil probe, you want one, and you want to test a couple extra areas in your yard, go ahead and get the pro pack. But this one was like $24.98 or something like that. And like I said, I bought two of them. How did my soil probe work? work it worked okay um, I'm not saying it was any easier of a soil probe um, because you need to have the steel pipe you need to have something to be able to get the core out of the pipe um, and then I ended up using a rubber mallet just to make sure I was getting in deep enough so is it any easier probably not but it saved me some money knowing me I would buy something that's probably 40 or 50 bucks or more expensive of a soil probe because that's just who I am um, so it saved me having that spending that kind of money. So it worked well for me. It got me a good core, so I have no complaints. So I'm glad I didn't go buy a big, expensive uh, soil probe. 
But anyway, that is it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, comment below. What soil testing kits do you use? Have you used? Uh, what were your results? Were you pleased? Were you shocked? Um, let's just have a conversation about it. Oh, I am gonna put a link to this down in the description. It is unaffiliated um, because I haven't set that up and I don't get enough views to warrant affiliation, but just for your convenience um, so you don't have to go search for one on Amazon. Just the link will be below for this. But anyway, that is it for this video. I will see you guys, almost forgot my clothes. I will see you all in the next video. Have a fantastic rest of your day. God bless.